Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear. I'm gonna cut this apple up. And as I have mentioned, I'm trying to find the limits on the quiet carry waypoint. So here's the plan. I'm gonna cut this apple into slices and then I'm going to leave the blade just with the apple juice on it. I'm not gonna rinse it, nothing. I'm gonna leave it sitting open for, I don't know, two hours, three hours, a couple hours and we're gonna see if anything happens. So far, I've cut an apple with it already, I've cut a sweet potato and all that, but each time I've done it, I've just rinsed it under the sink after. Bear in mind, I put it back in my pocket, wet, just wiped it down the next time I pulled it out, but we're gonna do a little bit more of a controlled experiment this time. It's not that controlled, but we're just gonna have fun with it. So, without further ado, I'm going to cut this apple. Now, weird thing about me, when I'm doing food prep, I usually cut with my left hand because I'm somewhat ambidextrous. I do a lot of things left-handed, although usually with a pocket knife, I'm right-handed, especially like with fixed blades, big knives, that kind of thing. But in the kitchen, I, I write and I shoot left-handed. I think a lot of my like fine motor skills, I tend to kind of go to my left hand. So don't judge me. I'm gonna cut this apple with my left hand. Uh, my daughter likes it with no skin on it. So I'm also going to see if I can peel it. So bear with me, here we go. Let's. All right, we're gonna leave this right here, chilling on the apples, right on the slices of the peel. And right now it is 3.20. So I'm gonna leave it until we'll call it 5.30 at least, 5.45, something like that. And we're gonna see how it looks at the end of the time. In the meantime, I'm gonna have some apple. So, it's been one hour, not two hours yet. We're at the halfway point. I'm picking this up. There's not a thing happening to it. There's just there's no, no evidence of any kind of corrosion, patina. Nothing, just, just apple juice sitting on the surface of a knife. So, got me thinking. An hour hasn't done anything, like not anything. I should probably step it up, right? I just poured myself a glass of this orange juice, and then I had a thought. What if I put it in lemonade? Lemonade's acidic, right? Even more acidic than an apple. So, for the final hour of this torture test, we're gonna put it in some lemonade, see what happens. So, then we grab a cup. Take a nice clear one, so that you can see it there. That'll work. Lemonade today is strawberry. For the sake of not wasting a ton of lemonade, I'm not gonna fill the cup all the way up. Although I guess I could probably drink this after. There's no reason why I couldn't. Anywho, go ahead and plunk that right down in there and see what that does to it. So, we shall see. One more hour to go. All right, everybody, it's a little bit past 5.30. It's been two hours total. That's like one hour in just the apple. And then I kept the apple juice that was on it, on it, and then I just set it down into this lemonade. So let's have a look. There's some pulp on there. Some of the apple dried a little bit. 
but I don't see any corrosion whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rinse, give it a wipe down, and then I'll put it in front of the camera once it's uh, rinsed off and uh, give you another close up, take it out in the sunlight so you can see it in some natural light. Um, yeah, Banex is uh, it's shining so far. Let's get it rinsed off. All right, so I literally just rinsed this off under the faucet and wiped it briefly with a paper towel. And there is nothing on here in terms of corrosion, like absolutely zero. Not even on the lettering where it's laser etched. I thought maybe I'd see some there or something. Just nothing. This knife still looks perfect. It, uh, <laughs> it couldn't have less corrosion on it. So I don't know, maybe I need to step it up further. Although at a certain point, if I'm going more intense than lemonade, which is pretty acidic, um, then at a certain point I'm like, what am I gonna use, like mustard? That's what people pin patina knives with. That's not a realistic, like I'm, I'm not really trying to like force a patina onto here or anything. Although, yeah, I don't know, maybe that wouldn't even do anything either. At this point, I guess what I'm saying is I feel sufficiently, uh, like, like I've sufficiently proven to myself that this sucker is not gonna rust in any kind of real world use application. Um, if it can chill in apple juice and, and lemonade for two hours total, um, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna get this sucker to rust by having it out and about in my pocket. Anywho, this has been a fun little uh, experiment today. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you have an idea of something else I should do to this knife, um, then let me know in the comments, obviously within reason, and I may or I may not do it. We'll see. <laughs> All right, thanks for checking it out.